Hey guys, welcome back to Mali and All channel. So today I'll just be doing a quick tutorial on how you can retwist or palm roll your hair at home for little to no cost. So this is the main product, uh, Africa's Root. African Root. So uh, this is the gel, uh, you can see, styling gel. I like this because it says it's alcohol free, UV protection, it gives you extra hole and shine and this does not leave any residue or buildup. That's one of the biggest cons with most of these styling gel is that they leave a lot of buildup. You see those whitey looking things in your locks that are not pretty at all. So this does not leave anything like that. So this is a good option and it's very affordable. I think I paid 800 Guyana dollars for it. I'm not sure but yes this is a good option for that uh, I like to use coconut oil extra virgin pure coconut oil so this is Aunt Durr's coconut oil I purchased them they're in front of um, for the people who live in Guyana they're in front of Medicare there's different sizes if you don't want to buy this big bottle I buy a big bottle because I use coconut oil all over my body so I put it in a little this little bottle so please if you see me using this don't be like why is she spraying spritz on her hair I also now started using Cars uh, Herbal Hair Growth Oil. This is a locally made hair oil that is good for your scalp. So, and if you want to support small business, you can buy this and it's great. I'm telling you, you see how far it's gone? Yep, I love it. I bought it like last week and that's how far it's gone already. I also use this. Uh, this is Lisa's Hair and Scalp Conditioner. So this is also locally made, made in Guyana. So, Basically, this is a very nice conditioner so that you can use to condition your hair. My advice to you is to retwist the same day that you wash your hair. Like, you know, obviously you make that your hair day. I washed my hair uh, two days ago and I was too lazy to retwist it. So I just would uh, put some water in any little container, like spray bottle you have. It doesn't matter. So you just spray the water at the the root barks of your hair so you don't have to put it right through at least two pony I don't know what else we call pom pom hair tie so you also use rubber band I have like 15 rubber bands left in here so you don't have to use a lot I probably only use like four to six rubber bands each time obviously you need a comb I know it's a lot but you still need comb it's so weird right and I like to use a little toothbrush and nothing is wrong with the toothbrush it just has dye in it so it looks like this but it's it's still usable it's still very good very neat so yes these are all the products I use so I start by parting my hair directly in the middle and rubbing the Lisa's hair and scalp conditioner and then I put a put the pony on the hair to section it off and then I start rubbing in the scalp condition I just like to rub it on the front and then I part my hair into small portions so that I can get it evenly into the scalp you don't want to put too much of this product though because it's a very thick product so I do the same thing for the other side so I just section off the other side of the hair and same way I part it and rub the conditioner directly on the scalp then I go in with the cars hair oil and this oil should be directly on your scalp so I put it in and then I start massaging it into the scalp so you just rub it in rub it in rub it in then I go in with my coconut oil so I put it in this little spray bottle so I can spray it right throughout the hair so I like to spray it right to the end so that my hair can have a sheen coconut oil helps your hair to look healthy and not dry and husky so you put it in and you rub it in and massage 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 so then I like to section the half into two parts and I put the rubber band on the hair so that it's not too tight so I can pull out the lock and then I use the comb to part the hair so that I can get a nice even neat box 
and then I go in with the gel and I just distribute the gel onto the lock and then I use the toothbrush to brush in all the little fine hair that you would find around your edge area and then I palm roll the hair and put it behind my ear for stability so I don't use any clips I just palm roll the hair and I put it behind my ear so that it would stay put and sometimes I even twist the two lock together so that way they stay together better so I basically take my time with the first two rows and ensure that I part it out use the brushes and get all the little hair into the lock because those are the parts that people see the most and as you can see the motion I'm using to palm roll it I like to twist it in the same direction so all the hair on this one side is going to go into that direction and the next side is going to go in the opposite direction so when you lose down the hair it's falling in the opposite direction which it's supposed to so that if you want to put your hair in two or loose it down it will go like that effortlessly and then i go in on the other side with the car's hair oil and basically just like what i did on the other side ensure that i put it on my scalp and massage it into the scalp and the hair and then i go in with the coconut oil and same thing beautiful hair <laughs> So I do the same thing, section the hair into two and put on a little slack pony on that side. Take out one lock. Same thing I like I did on the other side. And you're going to see the way I'm going to palm roll it. So I palm roll it so that when it falls, it would fall on that, the direction that it's supposed to. I hope you guys got it. So I'm just putting the gel on the hair. So as you can see, this gel is like a water-based gel. So it's not chunky and, you know, hard to, to work into the hair. And if you don't have gel, you can use water. I mean, it's not going to last as long as the gel is going to hold the hair. But water is a good option. So if you don't have money or the stores are closed, you can use water and oil. So yes, you don't need to break the bank and buy expensive hair products to have nice looking locks. And so I'm finished with this side. And as you can see, it's neat and silky. So I don't use any clips. This is just me twisting the hair together and putting it behind my ear. So I go ahead to braid it to keep it because I don't use any clips and I don't know. I just prefer to just put some braid in the hair and have it all together for a while I will leave in these braid for like a week or so most times so this is the back of the head so same thing I use the pony to section it off and the back of the head I don't use the comb or the toothbrush I just basically take out the locks rub on the gel and just palm roll it in the upward position so it can fall on any side so i just basically do that for the back i've already done the other side i'm just showing you guys how to do it so obviously it's just feeling because i can't see behind my head so as you can see it's pretty neat 